the Saisa here for its naturals. All right. Um, I'm going to be starting like a new segment or playlist of videos basically about things that um, we all kind of think are healthy or are good for you or better for you uh, and some unexpected sort of side effects because it seems like it keeps happening to me a lot okay I guess because I keep on trying to do natural sort of things you know uh, to cover up all the bad things that I do all right so today we're going to be talking about deodorant okay um I stopped using deodorant years ago uh probably when I first started the P90X which was like 2011 or something like that right <clears throat> at that time I started using coconut oil it is antibacterial, it's antifungal, it's antimicrobial, I believe, as well. Um, and, you know, at that time, it was doing pretty okay, you know, rub it under my armpits, and it would keep me smelling kind of fresh. Uh, the issue that I was having with it was, it wasn't very portable, you know, sometimes in the summer or in the winter, uh, to have it in the car, because, you know, sometimes you forget to put on deodorant, and you could just, like, have deodorant in the car. But I couldn't do that with the, the coconut oil, because, of, you know, with the spilling and just, like, things going wrong, unforeseen circumstances. Um, and I actually wound up somewhere for a really long time around a lot of people with no coconut oil whatsoever, just stanking. I mean, stanking. I lit the room up. So I was like, you know what, this isn't for me. So um, I started trying kind of naturally sort of deodorants and then I just said screw it and I went right on back to regular deodorant okay so now I'm trying to clean up my act again so I go to the Whole Foods right and I go and I get me some Tom's of me all right um you know they make a lot of better versions uh, or cleaner versions of whatever it is they make, toothpaste, uh, you know, body products and things like that. So this is their, uh, it says natural odor protection, 24 hours, long lasting deodorant, wild lavender is the scent, okay? Now I know that lavender uh, can have some iffy side effects and that will probably be one of the videos about natural stuff that mm, didn't work out so well for some people, okay? Um, but I was looking for something that wasn't too... Uh, and I could not go with unscented because I've tried unscented deodorant before too and I was very funky. I mean, I funked up the joint. So that's not, that's not for me. Okay. Um, so, um, this worked okay. Kind of, uh, it's white, you know, a, well, not really white, I guess an off white sort of color. Um, and you know it rolls off pretty nice all that and all this uh not very like gelatiny you ever see that that really like clear kind it's a little bit more solid looking than that but not as solid as the white solids that i'm used to um i put it on i did not particularly care so much for the scent this uh lavender is off the chain too strong it smells like menin it smells like a uh, men's speed stick like it is very masculine smelling not at all sexy pretty feminine or what you would think that lavender would smell like right okay so and it says the, the fragrance is improved so I couldn't even imagine what it must have smelled like before okay the issue that I was having was when I was putting it on it felt like the actual uh, side of the container was scraping me so it just kind of hurt a little so it's like you know what it's all right and I guess if I don't mind smelling like a man, I can rock it. But I was looking for something, you know, a little different. So, enter Whole Foods again and enter Kiss My Face, okay? Kiss My Face deodorant. Uh, it says it's natural, active life, same great formula, aluminum, coral hydrate, and paraben free. Now, I know uh, one of the bad things that are in regular deodorant is the high amount of aluminum. So basically people who live in hotter places such as California where I live um, have larger amounts of uh, metals in their bloodstream, especially aluminum, because we're wearing more deodorant, because we're sweating more, because it's hotter here, okay? So good that they don't have this and of course parabens are bad. So I felt like, wow, this is going to be awesome. Plus cucumber green tea is the scent, okay? And... It smells so 
freaking good, okay? It smells like uh, the cucumber melon lotion that used to be old rage back in the day. Um, however, it is pretty clear. It's a clear gelatinous sort of, uh, you know, base. And uh, it melts really easily especially on a hot day you might wind up using too much of it or whatever and it could be a little wet and you might have to wait for it to dry uh and that's not what's happening with it right now because it's not so super duper hot in here right now but um yeah love the scent and i believe that it was working as far as uh protecting me from stinking you know um but Still weird on my armpits, but I wasn't sure if it was the weirdness still left over from the scraping of this. Um, I actually think I took a file and tried to file down a seam that I saw or something like that. Or maybe I did that on this. I don't know. I did it somewhere because my armpits was killing me. So time goes on and I'm using this one primarily because it smells nice and it's still all natural or mostly natural or whatever. And um, yeah, I happen to just be sitting on the bed one day and I go to lift up my arm and oh wow it hurts so bad under my arm okay and I went to go and look at it. I asked my husband do you see something he was like yeah and I go and I look and it was all nasty all red and pink and cracked and peely so um yeah Needless to say, I had to stop using it because it was out of control. But then now my armpits was all messed up. So afraid to put on any other kind of deodorant, especially, you know, the other one that kind of scraped or whatever was going on with that. It seems like I probably had a reaction to both of them. But I mean, I'm not sure about the first one, why the hurting was happening. But nevertheless, I went back to my old trusty coconut oil to get my pits back in tip-top shape so as you can see the the redness is gone um, but my issue at this point is that uh, coconut oil is not really doing much for odor for me anymore so I don't know if my body's more toxic and I got a whole bunch more stank and funk trying to get out but I know that coconut oil is woo it uh, contains the stank for a little while but just really not long enough uh, especially with it being winter and me having to wear, you know, longer sleeve shirts sometimes. It's just rubbing it off and then I just be stinking or wearing a coat and that's get a little hot going from temperature to temperature. Yeah, so I'm looking for a new solution. Um, there used to be a website. Well, I think it's still here. Uh, I, I think the lady's last name is Portis. Her channel used to be called Spark Wisdom and I know that she had a lot of uh, uh, different types of natural types of deodorants. I know about, uh, you know, stones, people using lemon or lime, uh, perhaps baking soda, coconut oil. Uh, maybe I'll come up with my own little slab of deodorant that I can use. Uh, just, I'm just looking for something that's going to be effective, especially with me working out and me living in a very hot environment. So um, uh, if you have suggestions other than those things, uh, then let me know down in the comments. Let me know if anybody has tried either of these and if you have like a bad reaction. Because I'm wondering, is it just me? Like, do I suddenly have sensitive skin? Am I like weird like that? Like, I'm, well, I'm not saying that if you have sensitive skin, you're weird. But I'm just saying my skin has never been sensitive. So weird for me, okay? I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. So, um, yeah. Like I said, I'm on the hunt for something natural that keeps away the funk. You got ideas, let me know down in the comments. Until the next time, I love y'all and I can't wait to talk to you again. Bye. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching. To check out my previous video, click on the top left. To check out natural hairstyles, click on the bottom left. And to check out my fitness channel, click on the right. All the links can be found in the description box.